Every guy goes through that. Me, you, every, that's the way it is. You get that weird thing kicking around in there and you start getting crazy. What's so funny is when you're on the outside of it, it's so like when you're in the heart shaped box yourself, you just can't see anything else. It's just yeah. devastating. Yeah, and everyone that's looking at you is like, bro, let's just go to the bar tonight and you meet 17 new girls tonight. Yeah. But I like come back. I love that was <laughs> my girl. That was my special girl. No, it's not. That person is not who you thought they were. Right? They are not who you thought they were. The idea that this person was a trustworthy, faithful companion is not true. It is not true. That person does not exist. They didn't exist and they don't exist. It was in your head. It was in your head that this person was trustworthy and they were everything you wanted them to be and they were a faithful companion. That is a lie. They are not that person. They have proved it. They've proved it by their actions. So move on and at the risk of sounding callous, get over it. Don't just wallow in it, yeah. right? You're getting divorced, okay. Here's what you need to do. Here's how you maneuver, but let, let, you know, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna get dragged down by that into that mire? Or are you gonna you know, salvage what you can of your life and let's move on let's rock and roll the person that you built in your mind the person that you had a relationship with that you built in your mind they're not real they're not real she wasn't who she appeared to be and she isn't who she appeared to be she isn't the sweet understanding fun person that you cared so much about that's not her that's your memory that's what you built in your head she is actually the selfish self-centered person that cares about herself first and doesn't care about you that's the reality and that's fine but a lot of times the pain that we feel isn't based on the reality it's based on the fantasy so you're feeling pain of losing something that wasn't real so let the fantasy go remember that she is not the perfect person that you built in your mind period she's not Otherwise, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. And then move on, brother. Get after it. Work out. Train hard. Go to jiu-jitsu. Hike. Run. Play guitar. Just get after it. And those things, not only are going to distract you from the pain, which is good. They're going to improve you as a human being, which is good. And they're going to rebuild your confidence, which is good. They're going to make you feel good. They're going to make you stronger and smarter and better and put you into a place where you don't need that little made up fantasy anymore and they're going to put you in a place where you're going to find something better than the fantasy now i'm going to tell you right now the fantasies don't exist the perfect girl or guy for you doesn't exist they don't exist so you're gonna be out looking for someone that's good, but you're not gonna find perfect. Don't get obsessed with finding perfect. If you find someone that's perfect, it's, it's not true. Everyone's got their flaws. So, that's what you have to do. And, and you will end up finding someone that's real. And, and I get it, man. I know you're gonna have some moments down in the hole as Alice in Chains put it. Or trapped in the heart-shaped box, as Nirvana put it. Or so lonesome you could cry, as Hank Williams Sr. put it. Is it. You notice a theme here? This is what people go through. But those feelings, they're temporary, so let them say hi. Let them hang around for a minute or for half an hour or an hour or whatever, and then kick them out kick those feelings out get them out of there and go do something else take your mind away from those memories of fantasies and put build some good memories that are real and yeah you know what you can use your anger and your frustration to fuel positivity for sure 
I spent much of my youth doing that very thing. <laughs> For sure. All those breakups. Yeah, I turn those things into, into fuel. If you take action with your body, your mind's going to follow. And pretty soon, you'll be on to the next chapter and you can move beyond this bad fantasy chapter that you kind of got roped into. The bottom line is, that is a good attitude to have. Hey, mm-hmm. broke up with my girl, right on. I'm glad I got out of this relationship before it developed into something where I did have hooks in me. Yep. Financial hooks, yeah. children, yeah. all those things. Oh, I made it out. Move on. Straight up, move on. Forget them. They are lying and they are untrustworthy. So move on. Now, sometimes this can be hard, especially if they've somehow tied themselves into your life, especially like for instance, you get the kids involved in a divorce scenario. You you can't move on. But you have to mentally move on. You have to emotionally detach from that human. And that's hard to do because obviously they were someone that you trusted. The fact that they trust that you trusted them, the fact that you had that relationship, that's even more reason to walk away. It's even more reason to move on. You gotta see them for what they are. That person is not who you thought they were, right? They are not who you thought they were. The idea that this person was a trustworthy, faithful companion is not true. It is not true. That person does not exist. They didn't exist and they don't exist. It was in your head. It was in your head that this person was trustworthy and you, the, they were everything you wanted them to be and they were a faithful commandant. That is a lie. They are not that person. They have proved it. They have proved it by their actions. So move on and at the risk of sounding callous, get over it. Don't dwell on that. Deal with what it is right now what that person is deal with reality accept reality and be be thankful for reality be thankful that you were able to learn before you invested more, more into this person be, be be thankful that you found out when you did that this person was a liar that this person was unfaithful was untrustworthy be be thankful that you know it and you know it now instead of later. And you know what else is going to make it a lot easier to get over these situations? Is recognize that there's plenty of people out there in the world that are trustworthy and that are faithful, good people. There's, they're out there. Go find one of them. But don't think that that person that you had was the only one in the world. They're not. And you know what? If that Sometimes, sometimes people have a hard time making that trust because they're so caught up and they, they, they don't want to meet someone else right away. That's fine. Start with yourself. Right? Rely on yourself. Trust yourself. Because we when, when someone breaks our trust, we, we, we question ourselves too. Yeah. Like we think, our, my judgment's bad. I'm not a good judge of human character because I totally put my faith in this person and look what they did to me. So now we don't trust her. So you've got to build that trust up. You gotta build that trust up back again with yourself. How do you do that? Read, write, learn, work out. Be alone, it's okay to be alone. Some people get freaked out when they're alone. It's okay to be alone. It's okay, it's okay to be alone. There's no big deal. Enjoy it. Do something productive and build that trust up in yourself. You know, look back at the situation, learn from it. Okay, you don't let it happen again, right? So you start seeing those red flags, see the mistakes that you made. And then look for them next time around because you deal with people all the time that they, they made mistakes the first run. They go back and they make the same mistakes the second run. They go back and make the same mistakes the third run. That's when you gotta start blaming yourself yeah. on your situation. 
that's why that's why I said you got to like build a relationship with yourself you got to learn yourself you got to trust you got to learn to trust yourself no no she wasn't yeah. that is a lie a that person that you put put together in your head that you've assembled in your mind that person doesn't exist they don't yeah. exist the, the person that you dealt with was a liar was unfaithful was a cheater that's the person the person wasn't this person that you're putting forth in your mind that person doesn't exist so stop <laughs>